What's up, everybody? It's Coach Stroud here, and I am uh, packing up the Riker so that we can go over to Pop's house and get my new hand guards put on and just hang out with my parents and see how they're doing. Come along for the ride, won't you? Um, there's a screw in that box. Honey. So what you doing, Pops? Changing out the battery. And which bike is this? This is my 2003. BMW R 1200GS Lots to say, huh? It's a sweet bike It is I'm happy with it when it runs like it's supposed to <laughs> Don't fill my messy garage nah. So Pops Yes. You are working on your bike here. What other bikes do you have currently? I have a K1200 LT BMW and a Honda Valkyrie that belonged to your grandfather. Sweet. And this one's your favorite though out this of all? This one is my favorite only because I can go off-road. Nice. How often have you gone off-road on this? Um, well, so... Off-road has different meanings for different folks. Off-road, I do gravel roads, forest roads, stuff like that. Nice. Have you ever fallen off of it? Yes. <laughs> Any motorcycle rider that tells you they ain't fallen off of it don't have a clue what they're doing. Amen. So we're gonna start putting the hand guards on. We're gonna start with these first right here. So bam, it's gonna go on like that. And uh, first thing you need to do is take off the mirrors. All right, so we got a T30, uh, what's it, star Torx. bit? Torx. Torx. And take them out, take the screws out. I got the screw out of this one. And we're gonna pull this out some. Probably good. Bam, to reveal this little part right here. Perfect. To the other side. That's fine. That's fine. Get another screw. All right, where's the one at? Right there. Pops, can you tell our audience how mechanically inclined I am? Um, <laughs> not very. It's the best I can say. With all the love in the world, your son is all thumbs right when it comes to this kind of stuff most days so if i can do it anybody can <laughs> i would say that's probably true yeah. get this one in a little bit more not too tight though Now what kind of, uh, this might sound like a dumb question, but what is this called again? Allen wrench. Allen wrench, okay. What size are we using? It is a 3.0 metric Allen wrench. 3.0 metric Allen wrench. 
It said Allen Ranch. Ranch. That's, that's fine. Ranch. ranch. Yuck, 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 yuck. We're all comedians here. Alright, not too tight. This one's gonna be fun. Should be. You know, right. See that down there? Just making sure that that's clear. So now that we got these on, is it okay to go ahead and tighten them all down? Sure, at this point I would tighten them down. Don't get, go overboard. Okay. All right. All right, so Pops has got the other side. Popping it on right here, making sure it's, there's a tiny little hole on this right inside here that this one needs to go into. You know, because of that, you can't install it like it tells you to. Yeah, it's interesting. They tell you to install it from below and then twist it up, but it's a little bit different. You can't. Do you need me to hold this side while you do that? Nope. He said no, but I'm still doing it anyways. I see that. Because that's the kind of son I am. Uh, whose motorcycle is this? <laughs> oh, uh, the winning name, by the way, for the bike is Eloso Moto. Eloso Moto. Chosen by the students. Even though some of them did suggest motor pickle, since I say motor pickle all the time. Which is kind of kind of funny. Yeah. So if you had to rate this installation at this time, Pops, what would you rate it? Oh, it's still easy. Super easy? I don't know that I'd say super easy, but it's still easy. <laughs> Beats work doing electrical work on my BMW. I guess I don't need to hold that anymore. No, I don't. Let's take a look at how it looks like on the front side. Oh, yes. Oh, I saw them. They already look so much cooler. Now I see why the uh, Riker Rally people, uh, they love that. I, I swear it's a selling point for the rally. They're like, hey, look at these cool hand guards. Don't you want those? Pay a couple thousand more for the rally just so you can get them. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what it seems like sometimes. So, cool hand guards equals bigger sales. Maybe. So again, on the inside right here, there's a little bit of a, a little a hole. hole. It's not a little bit of a, a little hole. Bit of, there is a hole. There is a hole that you got to get this front part into. And I guess that's good because it, it keeps... Uh, that way you know that your hand guards are perfectly aligned. You know, that's a positive, right? Yeah. So there's that. And yeah. So one thing we are discovering right here is to make sure that these little lips are on not the inside. Yep, supposed to be on the inside, not on the outside. So like right here, um, they're on the inside right here, not on the outside. So we're flipping this one around, getting to make sure that, see there's the little, there's the little. That's the nub. That's the nub. That goes into the hole. It goes into the hole. There we go. All right, Pop, so what did we discover? We discovered that falling directions makes you have to redo stuff. So we actually followed the BRP instructions 
and it said to put these on first and then when it came time to put the deflectors on it says now we have to take them off that's not frustrating at all <laughs> tag nab it all right so we are back pedaling now a little bit but we'll get there so you put the one little plastic piece in that doesn't want to stay it doesn't want to stay yep and you get this back piece with two screw washers. and two washers and that's part of the problem <laughs> if it didn't look so cool and help with the hands this wouldn't be worth it anymore <laughs> So we got the bottom part, the Round top part in, two. and then we screwed in two screws on the bottom. <coughs> you want to show that? Yeah. It's, so two screws on the bottom here. Not too bad. It would have been nice. Yeah. That one was fun. This little piece on the outside here, getting that in right there. Uh, and then the two washers there that we the saw. Two washers was a pain in the butt. <laughs> So we got that one back on, screwing that one down. We get, and then let's see. This is what it looks like from the front. It's pretty sweet looking. It's pretty nice. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Doing stuff in the dark is hard. <laughs> All right, well, I'm back from Pop Pop's house, or Pop's house. Uh, my kids call him Pop Pop. Um, and basically, it was it was success. Uh, we had success. So hopefully, you guys at home can see this and see what not to do in certain situations. Because uh, we kind of, we put them on, we put the, the hand guards on, and then we realized that we had to take them off again to put the deflectors on. And we made a mistake there. It's funny because we watched the BRP videos and it does not mention that at all, but it makes sense um, when putting some of the screws in. Uh, it got a little bit dark out there, so I couldn't really film uh, the rest of it, but I want to show you what it all looks like. So hold on a second. All right. Okay, so I'm back home and there's the deflectors on. It looks beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. My bike is slowly but surely becoming more and more and more amazing every day and it's sorry for the lighting it's kind of dark and i'll tell you when i came home it was a little chilly but my hands stayed nice and warm behind these deflectors it was great honestly i could not be happier with them uh it is fantastic good investment so thank you for watching uh thank you for the likes and the comments and the subscribes and all that stuff i really do appreciate it um it's been fantastic um you know seeing people watch some of the videos um it just it means a lot to me thank you so much um yeah i'd like to say thanks to pops uh he's he's awesome he's a good dad and helps me out in every which way when it comes to bikes and uh yeah good stuff good times until next time people Deuces, we are out. Peace.